first head on to linuxmeet.com slash download. Here you can find the latest version and you can find Cinnamon Edition, Mate Edition and XFCE Edition. Cinnamon Edition is the most polished version with high graphics. Mate is between performance and uh, graphics and XFCE Edition is lightweight edition with low graphics. XFCE edition is ideal for old computers. Cinnamon edition is ideal for most of the users. You can download whichever you wish. Once you click on download, uh, you can find the mirrors from which you can download. Choose the mirror near to your country or just choose the world mirror. It is layer online mirror. I have already downloaded this uh, ISO earlier 20.2 Linux Mint version. Now we have to create a bootable USB for uh, this operating system. So we need a USB. Once you plug in your USB into your computer, you have to run this universal USB installer tool. I will show you how to download this. Here, uh, as soon as you open this tool, you can you should choose the distribution which you are going to uh, create a bootable USB for. It is Linux Mint, so we have to search for it. It is here. And you have to browse, click on browse and then choose the ISO file for Linux Mint. Once you choose the file, click on open. Now choose your USB drive and then click on FAT32 format drive option and then click create. Make sure you back up any data in the USB as it will be deleted when you run this. Click on yes and then the process will begin. Meanwhile, let's check out the universal USB installer tool. You have to go to pendrivelinux.com. Here you can find the USB inst uh, universal USB installer tool. When you just scroll down in this page, you can find the download button. Here it is. All links mentioned in this video are in the description. Do check that out. Now it is extracting the ISO. We have to wait for a while until it is done. You can see the remaining time. Let's speed this up. Now the process is about to complete. Yes, it is complete. Now we can close this. And then you can eject the USB safely. This is the USB drive. I used a 8GB drive. Now I am going to create a, a partition for installing Linux. I have E drive empty in my computer. So if you right click on this PC, you can find manage option. Manage option and then uh, here you, under storage you can find disk management, choose that option. Here uh, you can find the list of partitions available on your computer. As I said earlier, E drive. Uh, I am going to install Linux Mint in E drive. So let me delete this. Now it shows unallocated. Let's close this and turn on the computer. Now plug in your USB and enter into the boot menu. Here uh, there is a separate uh, 
utility for entering the boot menu it differs from computer to computer you can check out the manufacturer's website on how to enter boot menu once you boot into the USB Linux Mint will boot up in live mode once it has been booted you can try Linux Mint in live mode that is it will run via the USB so this is the Linux Mint de desktop to install click on that CD icon install Linux Mint and then choose your language and then click on continue if you wish you could install uh, multimedia codecs I'm going to install it and click choose the option and click continue now here in the installation type we have to choose something else because we are going to create custom partitions for this and then click on continue we have to create three partition the root partition the swap and home the root partition is the main partition where you will install all of your programs and where the operating system is stored we have to assign a size for this it is 50,000 megabytes for me you can choose whichever you wish and then click on ok the icon for root is uh, forward slash make sure you choose that and 20,000 megabytes is for uh, swap area you can choose swap area and click ok swap is like a memory partition which you can uh, which is used for hibernation and uh, memory related purpose we'll be seeing all of these mount point uh, mount points in an another video now the remaining uh, i have assigned it as home once you uh, do it click on install now and it will ask for confirmation click continue and now the installation will begin choose your location and click continue and then fill out all of these details create a strong password and then click continue Here you will see a slideshow of what is available in Linux Mint. Now the installation is complete. We have to restart now. Once you restart you can find the scrub bootloader now you can boot into Linux Mint our installation is successful once you boot you can see this welcome screen it shows new features available in Linux Mint you can check that out Here we have update manager this shows the list of updates available for our computer if you wish you could update updating your computer regularly is recommended it contains security updates kernel updates etc this is a menu just like windows start here if you search for software manager and click on it it will open up here uh, there is list of softwares available which you can install games games are available video editing and audio editing apps 
and other stuff. You can run VirtualBox, Blender, VLC. We'll be seeing some of these softwares in future videos. And Labor Office is pre installed, which is an office suit which you can use to create documents just like Microsoft Office. Let's install these updates. It asks for authentication. We have to enter our password. Now in the menu you can find all applications, accessories, graphics, internet, office and others. This is terminal where you can type commands. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for new videos in Linux operating system. All apps are classified uh, here. Office apps, sound and video, administration preferences, etc. Uh, this is computer just like this PC on Windows here you can find the list of hard disk partitions and removable devices and CD CD drive and this is just like the file explorer music documents desktop shows up here the bottom right contains options for sound power internet options and removable devices which you can check out thanks for watching